Okay, good. There we go. So hopefully this is recording. Before we can do anything, we got to talk about what in the world this word means. What does consecutive mean? Consecutive. Give me a guess, Jake. Go ahead. Yeah, in a row. In a row. So, for example, consecutive numbers are like four, five, six. They come right in a row. Okay? I have my three Maddies over here are seated consecutively. Maddie, 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 all in a row. Okay? Consecutive just means in a row. So I want three numbers in a row. And then what's some mean? Addition. So I want three numbers in a row that add up to be 135. And when I say integer, that was one of your vocab words, what do integers do? What, what's the deal with them? They are the, Grace? Yes, it's all of your whole numbers and their negatives. So when I go to solve this, is it going to make any sense if I have decimals? No, because decimals are not included in the integers. So I should have three nice numbers in a row that just add up to be 135. You may be able to guess them. Three numbers in a row add up to be 135. It wouldn't take you that long to guess it. Right? If you just played around with it long enough, you're going to guess them. But what happens when I give you crazy numbers and I say, okay, it's 10 numbers that add up to be a million something, right? Then it's not so convenient to be guessing the answers. So we need an algebraic way to solve these. Lucky for you, it's not that bad. The sum of three consecutive integers is 135. Do you know what the smallest one is? Oh, pretend you don't know. We don't know. I don't know what the smallest one is. I'm going to call the smallest one x. All right, so there we go. Let x equal the smallest. Ladies and gentlemen, here's where I need you to think. If I want three numbers that are in a row, like four, five, six, how do you get from the first one to the next one? How do you get from four to five? You add one. Right? Think about it. If I take any number and I add one to it, don't I just get to the next number in a row? Of course. So how should I represent my second number? X plus one. Yes, let X plus one equal my second number. So can you uh, figure out what my third number would be represented by? X plus two, because wouldn't the third number be two more than the first one? And so on. If I had five numbers, I would just keep adding another, another, another. So let X plus two equal my third number. I only need three numbers. There they are. One of them's X, one of them's X plus one, and one of them is X plus two. Does that make sense where those came from? Okay, I don't know the smallest, I'm gonna call it X. The next number in a line, plus one. The next one, add two. And so on, if I had to keep going, but I don't, um, I'm ready to go. There we have it. Can someone now give me an equation? Remember what these three numbers are supposed to do. Allie, go ahead. Equals what? There it is. Three numbers in a row, consecutive numbers, have a sum of 135. Sum means add. So you're just going to add the three numbers together and set it equal to 135. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's simply an equation that I can solve. What is x and x and x? 3x. 1 and 2 is 3. Minus 3, minus 3, I get 3x equals 132. Divide by 3. <clears throat> 132 divided by 3 is 
44. Which makes sense. Okay, I was expecting to get like a nice number out. I wasn't expecting to get decimals or something weird. 44, that's fine. All right, so what's 44? My smallest number, so then the next number must be? 45 and 46. You can check that in one second. Add 44, 45, and 46 together. That's three numbers in a row. Do they really have a sum of 135? Yes. 44, this one's 45, and 46. So then we just write a little, well, what's the answer to my question? The answer to my question is 46. Because notice I didn't ask for all three. I just said find the largest. So your answer would be the largest number is 46. There's the answer to the question. Not 44, right? Careful. You have to answer whatever question they're asking. Does that make sense? Pretty good? All right.